What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it, everyone. So we have a knife coming in from Devo Knives, and I am stoked to check this thing out. We got a little sticker here. Sticker here. Sticky. Sticky sticker. My Little Pony Stout, little silica packet to keep everything corrosion free. And then we have our knife housed in that foam insert in a cellophane baggie. And what we have, guys, is the brand new offering from Devo Knives. This is going to be the Pony Stout, but this is going to be the premium version, baby. So, Kevin Collin, uh, as Devo Knives, they released a affordable Pony Stout because they had the original Stout and that was a more premium ended knife and they wanted to get something a little bit more affordable out there. So they ended up putting out a Pony Stout or a Mini Stout in a budget form, which we can bring out here in a moment. But uh, now, since then, they've decided to go ahead and go with a premium model. And this is going to be a QSP OEM on these guys. And it's going to be a White Mountain Knives exclusive. So you can pick these up, guys, on Friday, I believe, at 12 p.m. Eastern. These are going to go live and these are going to sell out quickly, I have to believe. Uh, because these are priced insanely well, like usual. Uh, and you're getting premium materials, guys. We're going to get a stonewashed S90V blade. Nice sheep's foot. Typical stout fashion. We have this sheep's foot here. Nice little swedge going to the tip. Got a little harpoon type deal going on here. Nice little slant there to put your thumb in if you're choked up. Nice and deep in there, baby. A lot of control over this blade here. Let's take a little closer look at this guy. Now, there are going to be two variations you can get. You'll be able to get this black DLC stone wash titanium version. And then you'll be able to get a basically, I don't know if it's a bead blast or a stone wash. Basically, just a neutral looking version, which would be a good choice for anno and modifications and stuff like that. Uh, this is a nice looking design right here. Uh, this is the one that I would go for right here. The uh, black DLC tumbled titanium with the stone wash blade. We have a nice little titanium backspacer there. And then we do have a deep carry wire pocket clip here. And if I know Kev and Colin, that is most likely going to be able to be changed with a Lynch Northwest, Rips Garage, you know, whoever makes a wire replacement clip, you should be able to change that out if you would like to. And you will be able to switch it to lefty carry, of course. We have a nice amount of access to that liner there. They they jimp it and they chamfer it, which is an excellent job. Uh, that is my bread and butter right there. I cannot wait for a time when companies, that's all they do. Jimp it and chamfer it. Give us that combination because it's just, it's comfortable, it's grippy, it just works. And that's what I think every liner lock, frame lock, that should have that just like this. Well done, lots of access there. And the action for this little guy is ridiculous right off the rip. We do have, uh, what do you say, about 20% on the lockup, nice and early there. Very easy to disengage this guy, perfectly centered up. And you know, with this being a titanium frame, with this being a titanium liner lock, uh, you're not going to have any issues whether you're a lefty or a righty, does not matter. You'll be able to have all the fun you want with this guy because you don't have that exposed frame lock to deal with whether you're righty or lefty. So that is a nice touch. Over the years, you know, there was a point in time where I loved exposed frame locks, and I think everybody goes through that period, and I still like them. 
but there's something to be said for titanium handles and then keeping it either a liner lock or just going with a bolster style lock. Uh, that's just that's just a lot easier to deal with. We do have some jimping up here. So if you're in the standard grip, you have some jimping here to lock you in. And then you do have this kind of 50-50 area here uh, where you can choke up, get a lot of control over that blade. You have this nice little poon spoon here. Uh, and that is a perfect, comfortable spot there uh, to grip this guy and use it. And then you'll also be able to do my favorite grip the index grip and you'll be able to use this like a machine uh, this will be a fantastic utility cutter it's already been brought up uh, i'm not really going to bring it up and harp on it or anything like that the sharpening choil uh you know it's it's not not that great, I guess you would say. Uh, I'm not much for sharpening. I'm not a sharpening expert. And I have told everyone in the past, uh, that is probably the least, you know, do I want it to be the best that it can be? Yeah, I do. Um, but for me personally, uh, it doesn't really matter because the way I rotate through knives, uh, I think most people watching this, you know, have more than, you know, one knife. Uh, and you rotate through, I'm sure there's guys out there who, you know, carry the same knife over and over again. But, uh, I think the fair majority of people probably rotate through several knives every week, right? Well, I do that as well. I get out two new knives every day and I might not see the knives I carried today for another two weeks, or it could even be longer. So, the, the sharpening choil and the sharpening ordeal, uh, I, I bring it up, I show it, I talk about it, I say what I think, but at the end of the day, to me, it doesn't matter, but I'm still going to you know show you guys what it is, and then that way you can decide for yourselves. Uh, it's going to carry nice and deep in the pocket. You'll have just a tiny, tiny little bit poking out of there. Retention is solid on that guy as well. Let's go ahead and bring out the original little pony stout here. And I love this thing, guys. Uh, I actually, it was a couple weeks ago, I was going through my drawer and I remembered this was sitting in there. And I was like, oh man, got it right out, started carrying it. And I uh, had it in my pocket for a couple of days. Uh, there is a there is a slight difference. Um I was wondering that on this one. I think QSP did these ones, or Kubi did these ones, but I could be wrong on that. I know QSP is doing these ones. Uh, definitely prefer the chamfer here and access to that liner. And of course, I prefer that uh, jimping and chamfer on the liner on this one. Uh, so basically, they took this and did a little redesign and added some way more premium materials 14c is a fantastic steel but s90v is you know an edge retention king and then you add in the titanium handles and you got yourself a nice little premium utility cutter uh, i have to guess that they will bring these affordable versions back around. Uh, I want to say these were like a hundred bucks or so. And for 14C, an OEM project in Micarta, uh, they might have even been a little less than that actually. But uh, a fantastic offering here in its affordable form. But uh, this one, when he announced, Kevin that is, announced that these were going to be a thing, I was. Uh, heavily intrigued if you will because you know if if you don't prefer a bigger knife if you prefer just a more mid-sized knife and, and you are using it for day-to-day -day tasks utility type stuff this is a perfect blade shape for that you can still poke you know what you need to but this edge and the way this is designed it's a utility dream uh, that's what this sheep's foot blade, you know, is. And I love the design of it. The full size one even has more so of, 
you know, it's hard to make a sheep's foot look mean, you know, if you will. But this is a mean looking sheep's foot. And I really, I've always enjoyed it since the original stouts came out. Uh, the detent on this thing, of course, is nice and stout. Yeah. Can we get it? Nice little click. Thumb flick, reverse flick is all money. Is that cut out the same as well? Yeah, they're identical in the cutout there. Now they did add the jimping there. There's going to be some subtle cues uh, and changes. You know, if you picked up this one and then you plan on picking up this one, there's going to be some subtle differences. You still have that crowning going into the tip there, which is nice. A nice little touch, design touch there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I forget what these are going to retail for. I guess I could look. So these are going to be on White Mountain Knives. Uh, which is the only retailer you can pick this up from. I will have it linked down below. I'll link both the versions. I'll also link Kevin Lefty EDC's channel if somehow, some way you watch me, but you don't watch him. I uh, definitely recommend going over there and checking his channel out. Awesome channel. Awesome dude. Uh, I'll have all that linked down below. And then you can use code GBALL10 or most of your favorite reviewers all have a code. But you might as well use GBALL10. That is the best code at White Mountain Knives. So that's the one I would use. Uh, GBALL10. That'll get you 10% off the 175 which will take it down to I don't know. And I don't feel like thinking about it. But it'll take... 10% off of 175. So you're going to get S90V and titanium for under 170 bucks, which is fantastic. Uh, QSP OEM and QSP does a solid job. Uh, you know, they're responsible for the nimble line and a plethora of other OEM projects that they just absolutely nail it. Why don't we go ahead and we'll check that edge and see what that is hitting for so we got our standard little thin crappy phone book paper here Ooh. okay yes that has a good edge on it right out of the biz ox baby yeah Nice job. Nice job. And it's going to be, guys, this thing. Is that a hollow on there? I think that is a shallow hollow on this guy. And it's already pretty thin, guys. So this thing is going to be coming down pretty thin. I guess we could check that while we're here, right? We could make this a tribute video, make it like 30 minutes in honor of Kev. So that's going to come down around like 12 thousandths right there in that particular spot with these calipers. So, you know, it could be a little less, could be a little more, but it's going to be coming down there pretty damn thin. Uh, and you can see there that it has a fantastic edge. Uh, the, the, the best thing about Devo knives, guys, yeah, their designs are fantastic. Uh, they do, you know, they care. Uh, they're both knife guys, first and foremost, and that really shows in their designs. But the best thing about Devo knives uh, on top of the good designs and pricing and the material choices. But you're going to get some of, if not the best, customer service in the game. So that's why and how they are going to get... That's how they've gotten so far now. And that's why they're going to go even further. Because they have just some of the best customer service in the game knowing kevin uh it's there's no doubt in my mind that he will go to you know the end of the road to 
try to make things right. If you have an issue, uh, they always hold back so many knives. That way, if you're not happy with the detent or you're not happy with this, that, or the other thing, uh, he will take it upon himself to take care of you. So that's that's the main thing to me. Uh, you know, being good at customer service is not easy for a lot of these companies. And that is one thing that can be said about Devo Knives is the customer service is some of the best in the business. I will also link, uh, as these fall out onto the table here, I will also link Kevin and Colin's website, devoknives.com, uh, down in the description as well. So there's going to be a bunch of stuff down there linked for you guys. But you can go pick up REs. You can pick up coasters, patches. You can pick up hardware for various knives, depending on what's in stock. Uh, hats, which I'm wearing right now. I bought a hat off. Uh, I bought a hat off the website they got a bunch of different colors and whatnot i'm wearing it right now baby and i'm gonna keep it flat even though i look like a dork um but yeah i will link the website i will link white mountain knives and both versions of this i will leave my coupon code down there gball10 make sure you use that one i would not use any other code because they're just not as good you know what i mean uh i would use gball10 but uh I will have all that link down below for you guys and just keep your eyes peeled on Friday. These will drop at, yeah, they will drop at 12 noon Eastern sharp, baby. So you better be there at noon because I have a feeling these are going to go very quick. The affordable version was sold out very, very quickly. And they made a bunch of those in a bunch of different versions. Uh, the Mash, the Growlers, they have all been selling out very quick. I just see on the box here, Kev's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just seen that, dude. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right, guys. Yeah, uh... The only thing that I could see being changed on this knife, and Kev has already brought it to light, is that sharpening choil. Uh, but other than that, guys, this is going to be a solid little EDC knife right here. You're going to get a ton of bang for your buck. Uh, this is down you know, in the Migron line of pricing where they're putting out S90V and titanium, you know, in that $170, $80 mark. So this is getting down there in those prices, which is a testament to those guys keeping the price as low as they possibly can and, you know, still stay in business, basically. So uh, that is a, another nice touch from those guys. Huge shout out to Devo Knives, Kevin Collin, for sending this guy in for me to take a look at. They got another winning design on their hands, and I have a good inkling these will be gone very quickly. You guys will have to let me know. Are you picking one of these up? And make sure when you do go pick one up, you use G-Ball 10. That's what I would do. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you think of the new premium pony stout. Let me know if you're getting one. Thank you to you guys. Love y'all. And I will catch you on the next one.